Hello, hello! My name is Callista, and welcome back to Jaws of Hakon. In the last episode, we were once again out and about in the Frostback Bay. Okay, what the hell? What the hell? Excuse- No! No, how dare! I'm trying to introduce the video here. How dare! I'm offended. Okay. Okay. If this is how it's going to be... Screw the pair of you! Spinny spin! Got up! Back up! Just keep going on me! On me, that's right! Real pill! And... Okay, one down! Just the bog fisher to go. It's always the bog fishers causing problems. Excuse you. How dare. And this is now mine. You've got this. You can you can take him on. I'll help, but they're fine. There we go. Blackpool. Blackwall, no. No, Blackwall, leave him alone. Blackwall, leave him alone. No, guys, 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 stop this. Stop this now. Stop it. We're gonna go over here. I'm gonna introduce the episode. Okay, we were trying to find Colette. We were gonna go into the swamp and we were gonna try and find Colette. We're not gonna fight the wildlife. We're just gonna get on with our day. Take this Everite. Okay, is everyone chill now? Everyone is chill. Good stuff. God damn it. Ooh. It, uh, no. No, it's fine. Everything is fine. I was gonna say that is a carving. I thought it could have been like a, a stump. That looks cool. I like that. Okay, and into the spooky forest we go. With the blue flames, How isn't can that? it be so dark? Bad juju. That's how. That's the only way. And again, another... Another one of these walls. Hmm. Yeah, I, I reckon once we've... Kind of... Ingratiated ourselves... Into the hold we'll get more missions or at least i i think we will oh. over there she'll be overwhelmed oh oh where where the oh on me got up and then we spinny spin uh, ryan are you good there we go well we've launched one Okay, you're fine. There you go. Oh my god. Did we did we launch it up into a tree? Oh lord, I Oh no. Get back. Oh dear. <laughs> well that's not great. Dorian Dorian, you Okay, buddy, you 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 might be the only one who can get it. Because you're the only one of us who is ranged. Also, grab that while you're there. She's freaking out. You can get to it, slowly but surely. Oh, okay, can you... Oh, that, that knocked it down a bit. How many, how many things are up there? Thank goodness for range. Inquisitor. Still finding it difficult to breathe. But I'm not strewn across the landscape. So thank you. I'm Colette, Professor Kenrick's research assistant. I was hoping to conduct a survey of a Tavinta ruin in the hills. I may not have chosen the best route. Yes, we found this lady's uh, notes, or rather a to-do list. She was the one looking for defense 
lessons, but no reputable teacher would take her on as a student because, you know, not only is she an elf, she's a female elf and, you know, women, women shouldn't be fighting. No, no, no. So, oh, at, at least we were here to help her out. You're Kenrick's research assistant, so that makes you a student at the University of Orlais. It does? Why? I know. Why? I fear that this is gonna be like, you're an elf! Elves are dumb! Why would elves study? It's like, she's an elf. She's also an elf. Surely the reaction should be like, oh, that's great. They're letting elves study now. I... D oh, God, which do we want to go for here? These are all pretty bad. I, I don't think Ayano would be so blunt as to be like, you're an elf, because she's she's never... She never did that with Sarah. She never did that with Alan Vamal. She never did that with Menave. All of the options there to be like, but you are an elf. Why Why are you so learned? Or you're an elf. Why do you hate the Dalish? You're an elf. You would have done so much better if you had been a Dalish mage. We never picked any of those options because that wouldn't have even occurred to Ainor. So I don't think she'd be that blunt. I'm drawn to this one because I, I think potentially Ainor meant it as like a, oh, you're a student at the University of Orlais. Like, what's that like? And it was when she said, like, oh, it does. Why? That Ainor realised, oh, it could be taken in that manner. Oh, whoops. I, I really didn't mean to offend. This seems a little hot. Yeah, I, I like that. You know, she, she just, she was just mentioning it in passing. If I've said something wrong, I'm sorry. That's usually asked with skepticism. The university accepts those worthy of admission, though elven students are few. I like that. That was, I was worried that was gonna go in a really bad way, you know, in a, in a way that I could not justify RP wise, but that I'm happy with that. Well, do you, do you like studying at the university? How do you find it there? It's not easy, but this is what I want, and I like working for Professor Kenrick. Elven research students, where publications concerned, their works often deemed not substantial enough for formal credit. But Kenrick cares about people who want to learn. If our research finds an audience, I know my name will be included. Hey, that's, that's good. What were you hoping to find at the ruin? The Tevinter's time here was brief, but their architecture endured. Offering shelter, forming landmarks. Ancient Avar would have encountered these structures, which certainly predate Inquisitor Emeridan. Evaluating the ruins could offer insight into the region's history. Once I can get set up. You're still going there? I've read everything we have on Emeridan, and studied up on new excavation techniques. I won't waste this opportunity. If you've a map, I can show you my destination. If you'd be interested in the findings. Hey, yeah, of, of course we would. Stay safe. I will. Yeah, happily. We will We will happily journey to those ruins with you. Or at least after you. Because we do have some stuff to look for. Oh, hello. Oh. Oh, Lord. Okay. Bloodstained Shrine. We took steps to avoid the Hakonites and stayed out of their way for the most part. It would have gone uneventfully had Price's inexperience not caused him to leave visible prints in the dirt. The jaws of Hakon use them to track us, and even Falker cannot throw them off the trail. Persistent bastards. We ended hiding amidst the mouldy corpses and sun-bleached bones that littered the ground around a strange shrine. It was carved of stone and caked with what looked to be a dragon skull. 
Thankfully, when the Hakonites traced us to the shrine, the sight of it made them stop short. They whispered amongst themselves, and their leader seemed to make a small bow of obeisance to the skull. They then abandoned the chase. We still don't know what to... Oh, we still don't know what it was about that shrine that made the Hakonites balk. Perhaps we don't want to know. From reports sent to Scout Harding. Ooh, nice. What are, the, are those eggs? Are they carved rocks? I do this. No. No, this place is cursed. This place is very clearly cursed. I do No, thank you. Just a straight up. No, thank you. I don't need any of this in my life. Is that... See, that looks like a coffin. It's even got a skeleton in it. I don't... No. J just no. Just no. I, th I think that's really all that needs to be said about this area. It is much spookums. Much cursed. There's Felindaris growing, which is never a good sign. Uh, what do we have? It's a fade touched Gurga. Okay, I can... I don't mind that. I'm not looking forward to the spider. Yeah, it's done it. And then we spinny spin. Keep going. Keep going. Round pound. Stop it. That again. On me. Oh, you think you're big and tough, but you're not. None of the gurgits are, to be fair. And oh, Cole, Cole, be careful. There we go, two out of three. Oh, that on hit gained five cups. I, I didn't plan on redoing anyone's armor because what what everyone has is pretty decent and it's made out of um dragon bone i highly doubt i'll have enough to redo to redo everyone's i could remake you know some people's but that that doesn't seem fair to me but still i am getting some very nice fade touched equipment or fade touch materials Yeah, that's that's collect. So we we are kind of going up in that direction. Um, yeah, maybe maybe working on this portion of the map would be good. So let's let's make our way down this way. See what we can find. I, I love the detailing of having the lights be blue. Oh, hello there. You're right. I'll get to you when I get to you. But yeah, they, they could have just had regular lights. Like with red fire. Ooh. Okay. But I, I love that they went to the to the bother of having them be blue instead. It's so atmospheric. Hello, oh, you're right. Hi there. Yeah, I'm trying to get to that. Hmm. Yeah, looking looking like it's gonna be up here. Pardon me, little Tusket. Ooh, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe it'd be easier trying to get down from... Oh, dear. Oh, you're fine. Yeah, you know what? It'll probably be easier going through the pass and heading down. So we'll, we'll leave that be. Oh, 
Okay, now then, ladies and gentlemen. Where you at? Where'd you go? Where did you come from, Cotton Eye Joe? Two arms indeed! And a spinny spin! Right. Who am I fighting? Who, who is where? Guys, he's still alive. He's still alive if you want to help me out here. Uh, I know. Do you want to get in there? Spike him. And more spins. But it's, excuse you. No running away. There we go. Now then, what did you leave me? You lovely. Someone's used these bones in a spell. Were the jaws of Hakon casting a wall? It could be blood magic. Let's look for any more skulls. Hmm. Well, I see one right over here. So don't mind if I do. A uh, yoink. Now, I, I do remember this quest because I can never remember where the skulls are, so I'm always, I'm always just roaming the swamp like skulls. Skulls, you who Are you here? Are you anywhere? I think... I think it's probably going to be like the further in we go, the, the more of them there will be. Hmm. Okay, so but yeah, this was this was round about where we fought the Gurga, I think. Oh. Well, there's one. Hmm. Yeah, I don't, I don't believe they're kind of set up in any kind of trail. They're sporadic. I think we just kind of have to go further in and hope we get lucky. Oh, there's one. Now, and here's the thing. I found these ones so easily. I'm like, well, clearly it's going to take me forever to find the rest. I found four of them. It's, it's going to be the fifth one. I'm going to spend like an hour looking for it. I swear down. Oh, okay. Oh, they... I thought this was leading me somewhere exciting. How dare. Much offence. Out of my way, people. Ooh, what the... Ex... Excuse me? Excuse... Did... What? Because I saw that spawn in. I, I... Did someone drop their stuff? That must be it. There must be someone up there who was doing the laundry and they accidentally dropped all of their cotton. That's that's the only thing that makes sense. Back back into the swamp. Where you at? That's Falangaris. I'm shocked I've never seen this plant before. It's so melodramatic, half the magisterium should be growing it. Well, I mean, if you want to take cuttings and bring it back to Savinta, you always can, Dorian. I'm not going to stop you. 
hunting, following a scent. Something good, fresh, a treat, then trapped, nets and clubs and pain. She's nearby, caged, cramped, can't get free. We need to help her. Oh, Cole, bless you. Bless you, Cole. You're, you're one of my favourites. You are my adopted son, and I love you. Still, where is... What did I say? There's always one... There's always one lamp that is damn near impossible to find. Now then, this doesn't actually lead to a rune. Again, like before, it leads to a uh, Veil Fire Quartz. However, this one is a lot easier to get to. It's literally just right up and around here. Or at least I think it is. If I remember correctly. Maybe. Right, yes, right there. A yunk. Six of it, lovely. Now, if only I could have as easy a time finding the final, you know, artifact or whatever they're called. Whee! Okay. Okay, pe people, people, there you are. Into the creepy cave, we've got to go save a bear. Oh, that's deep mushroom, that's fine. Hello, gentlemen. Uh, I'ma just free the bear. Don't mind me. That's right, Storvacker. There we go. You're right. Are you, are you just gonna chill? She's just gonna chill. Oh, she is lovely. She has a painted hide and everything. Oh, excuse you. Oh, a, a Dorian. A Dorian buddy. Um, there you go. There you, it's a good thing he was invisible, otherwise they would have stabbed him to back. Going. Ramming speed. Uh, Dor Dorian. Dorian. Uh, would you like to keep attacking? There you go. There you go, buddy. Okie doke. Now, before we head out, uh, Storvac, just just let's let's stay in here. I want to uh, explore this area. Mm, yeah, it's all locked. Uh, Cole, if you would be so kind. Thank you. Very nice. Yeah, these are these are definitely Tavinta ruins. If they've got scepters dedicated to Razakale, then uh And are you lootable? You are, thank you kindly. Okay, I was about to say, how's how's my inventory doing? It's doing just fine. Pardon me, people. In there. And oh, more of the conspiracy theorist gubbins. Mysteries of the Frostback Basin. Secret prisoners of Tavinta. Long ago, this would have been under the watch. Oh, under the water. I'm sorry. I'm having one of those days. Long ago, this would have been under the water, until the Tavinta drained much of Swamp Kuldstotten to build this prison. Why make a jail so remote? For prisoners they wish to hide. Tavinta has made war on Orlay many times, but I now believe there is also a secret war between them that the common people are not allowed to see. This prisoner is a remainder of this secret war that continues in our time. 
I speak of Orlais' attempts to rouse the Snake Kings of the Earth against Tavinta's alliance with the Moon Men. Oh, the snakes versus the Moon Men. Oh, how terrible. This is explained in Sir Yick's pamphlets, of which I have read many, which explain things such as why the snake appears in Tavinta's drawings, and how the Snake Kings came to exist. Crystals. Did Moon Men have their Tavinta allies keep the reptilian ones here so they could interrogate them at their leisure? None can say, but I will say yes, as that would fit my theories. Sir. Sir, you- I- I- I love you, sir. You do you. And behind the final door is... <laughs> Ooh, Master Belt of Grenades. Okay. Good stuff. Now then, I am just about out of time for this episode. In the next one, we escort Storvaka to safety. Um, let's read some codex entries before I sign out proper. Okay. Frostback Basin. Halvor often arrives around winter's end. But it's given the re oh excuse me. But given the recent weather, I hadn't looked for him, which is why his voice across the market took me by surprise. Lowlander, I was owed a drink on my next visit and supper, unless you were getting out of your wager. Maybe I was trying to get out of the bet, but I happily paid the bill at the inn that night. I asked Halvor where he'd travelled, and he said he'd been trading with an Avor hold in Frostback Basin. Then he raised an eyebrow at the look on my face, so I described the stories Uncle told us as children, where brave expeditions get lost in places like the Western Approach. N wait a minute. Nahashin Marshes, maybe? Frostback Basin. He laughed and admitted it could be a cruel place. He described thick forests, greater than any I've seen, I'm certain, and darkened swamps. His rule for travelling there seemed to boil down to be wary and alert because everything can kill you. The wildlife is violent, the cliffs are steep, and you must be mindful of the gods' wishes. Here meaning his Avar gods. Of course, the hunting's good, the trade fair, and the Avar hold impressive. But do people really disappear in the forest? I asked. Few lowlanders come through, but not sure how many leave after. The last was a joke, but I won't be visiting that hold any time soon. Letter from a Ferelden merchant to his cousin in High Ever. Very nice. And Tales. I would assume... If I can find it. Okay, the Wellspring. There we go. This must be the, uh, the one we're getting now. The one I'm not going to read yet. The Wellspring. In a time that only the stone remembers, there was a taig in the deepest cavern, ruled by a wise old king. The riches in the stone had provided well for the taig. Lyrium flowed like water from the ground. Gold and jewels sprouted from the walls like mushrooms, and the people wanted for nothing. One day, the king returned to the stone and left behind two sons to vie for his throne. Neither had been named heir, and so each sought to prove their father's assembly that he was best suited to be king. The first son journeyed far and wide across the deep roads, forging alliances with other tigers, and returned home bearing word of the goodwill of distant kingdoms and their promises of future friendship. But the assembly was not impressed with words and promises and would not name him heir. So the second son mined the ground for wealth, Every last scrap of lyrium, every nugget of gold he dug up and gifted to the taig. But the assembly, accustomed to abundance, was not impressed. So the second stun dug farther and farther into the stone, so far that he broke through to the other side and found the sky. And this he claimed for his taig, and the assembly named him king. But the assembly wanted him to bring back his treasure for the taig, the new king climbed down and down the endless mine until he reached the sky. But try as he might, he could not pull the sky up, nor strike it to pieces with his pickaxe. The new king mined out more and more earth, trying to carve a path to the sky, 
and finally he undermined his tie so much that the whole kingdom broke loose and fell far, far into the ground and up into the sky. King, Assembly and Taig were never seen again. The King Who Claimed the Sky from Songs That Only Nooks Can Hear by Paragon Abrian. Ooh, that is... That is a very good tale. Very dwarven. I like it. Alrighty then, in the next episode we escort Storvac to safety. But until then, please remember to like if you enjoyed. Leave a comment below. And if you wanted to subscribe, it would be very much appreciated. I've been Callista. Thanks for watching and see you in the next episode.